I started in 1994. I think it of to have a milk plant, and it was 1994 when Dr. Marmon Singh opened up the economy, and you can start a dairy plant of 10,000 liters only. They deal sense it, and it was very difficult to get the loan. I have approached every bank; nobody want to fund me. Now everybody, every bank want to fund me. Now there is a change after 20 years, and at that time. My state financial corporation helped me to give me the loan. I started the, my this small industry. Now, this is a difficult challenge because the procurement is very difficult in Punjab or everywhere else because the adulteration is there. That is a more important point. And to then to sell it in the market and to process in the market, I be the first entrepreneur. So I have facing a number of problems at that time. But, I have overcome all this problem, give only the one thing, the good quality, and to meet my consumer, what they need, and their need changes day to day. Now, nowadays, they ask me to give me curd, very good quality curd, paneer, and all the product. Now, they don't do it at, at the house. They go and put, buy the products from the market. They don't now go, they will go for buy the curd from us because we have the standard quality and date every day will be the same quality of the product you will get it. So they have the confidence on me, on my product and I am selling in the northern India and most of the Himachal Pradesh and my turnover is, has crossed from 2 crore to 300 crore rupees within 20 years. Now I'm, I expect that this will increase to move to 500 crore within the next two years. Now I am expanding it to 5 lakh liters per day. And now we are also expanding to Tetra Pak and big ice cream plant and also to Medrola cheese and also to some other products. So to expand our business and to also we are going to a bakery products also. We are setting up a new unit which is likely to start in a six month or a year. So it is a, that I just want to tell you that here in India, the only the processed milk is only up to from 15% to 80%, that milk is only processed in India. The rest, there are lot of market, lot of scope, which you can develop yourself in the market. You will find out there are some of areas which are, they don't have, they have the milk, but not good quality of the milk. So they are asking me even, I have been asked by the MP government to come and start up the unit, even by the UP government to start up their unit in their image, in UP, to start in another unit over there. So there are a lot of scope. And similarly, in the food processing, all the products, uh, vegetable, fruits, only 15 to 20 percent are only processed. The rest are only sell in the market as it is. So in our milk products, we have seen that the vendor milk, which we are usually use, is not as good as we are doing it. Uh, we are buying the milk directly from the farmers, chilling it at that time, and selling it in the market in a very hygienically way and in the good quality of the product and keeping all the norms full. Now slowly, slowly, the, it has developed all the market. So people have, my consumers are the who are drinking the milk per day. It is different from all other products because suppose you have to sell cycle, motorcycle, or a car or something, you can, uh, you can give it to once to your consumer. Here the consumer can change in another day. Suppose you don't have the good quality of milk today, tomorrow he will change, shift to some other brand. So I'm facing a number of competition including Verka, Vita, Amul. Amul is there in Punjab and also Mother Dairy is there. So I'm facing the competition and I'm coming out of it. And one thing I told you, I want to give suggestion to it, that Mr. Parlaji has told that uh, there should be an entrepreneur course he's going to start. He may giving to maybe 100 or 200 people, but I wanted that it should be there in the, from the school level and it should be in the college level. You must give the entrepreneurship a course. So that there are a number of things which the government is doing for us now. There are a number of policies which even I don't know, I have come to know just now by listening to all the speakers that they are, what they are planning and what they are going to do. And how a young person can understand all these things. So you start an entrepreneurship course, 
request the government of India to start it in the, from the basic classes or from the college level at least they can understand it. You develop their skill, you are developing a skill development so that you can start the small unit. Even in the agriculture sector they can do it, in the village level they can do it. They can do it in one acre of land, they can start the one acre of land, they can have a number of things which can the greenhouses they can set up and other some mushroom farming they can do. The number of things which can be done at the small level, in the village level, and uh, they can earn one lakh rupees per hectare, per acre, there in their houses. But schemes are there, subsidies are there, but they don't know the knowledge how to approach the bank, they are afraid of going to branch, to the banks. So th this you have to make them understand where this is how we can make the every person to become an entrepreneur so that he can create more jobs to the other other persons. Now the nowadays whenever I go to any institution or somewhere else as a guest, so they have only one policy that how many jobs you can create for other students. Give them the jobs in your industry or you create more jobs. I ask them why don't do ye they create the job. I will teach them, they create the job for on other peoples. So that is a big challenge. And the second thing is the subsidy, that subsidy which a government announces, but it is very difficult to get the subsidy. It is only in the books. It, if you apply it, there are num we have to apply a number of people to get complete their formalities. Ministry of Food Processing, it takes a lot of time in giving the subsidy and they have only in the books that subsidy is there, but we don't get the subsidy. Any young entrepreneur don't get the subsidy at that time. They may give the powers to the banks also, which has fund the funding the loan. They should be given the direct subsidy and should be very easily available. They ask a number of questions from where you have buy this machine, this machine, give the details, chartered accountant, certificate, something like that. So I want that everybody should come up and start with the new industry. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Vinodji. One follow-up question, if I may ask, yeah. um, you know, that is on the milk quality. I think there have yeah. been so many reports on the fact that the milk in Indian uh, dairy uh, system is adulterated. Some reports have said even 67% of the milk that we drink is adulterated, you know, like liquid hydrogen, urea, and things like that. So how do you come over these kind of challenges? Because, you know, we it's a daily consumption item and, and the quality has to be maintained. How do you come over this kind of challenges? Sir, yes, you are very right. Most of the milk in India is not fit for human consumption. <laughs> because the, all the milk plants they started, they buy the milk from the contractors who give them the milk. I, I purchase the milk to the, from the farmers only. Farmer doesn't cheat anybody. So from, from farmer, I have a nearby about five to seven kilometer from that area or 10 kilometer. I have a chilling center over there. I chilled the milk and brought it to, to my factory and then again chilled it and pasteurize it and standardize it and then sell in the market. And there are a number of tests are there which we do at the chilling center and also, also at the our own factory. If we find any adulteration, we take immediate action we stop that milk or we say then we will send it to the sample department or something like that. We thread them, we don't do all these things because one thing I tell you when I started the factory, you know, my late mother called me and tell me that this is milk. To drink the milk, God has to come to the earth. So we don't cheat anybody with them in the milk. If you cheat them, you will be cheating yourself. If you will be sincere towards the milk, you will rise like anything. So we do each and everything as marketing persons are very less, but the procurement persons are more and more with me so that we can get a very good quality of milk and we can sell it in the market. And every test is done at every step. Every step we have a kit of testing and we do every testing. But the urea is done, he has to prolong the life. To add urea, caustic soda, it prolongs the life. They do, it is done by 
those people who have to sell it at far away places or they want to increase the fat quantity or to increase the SNF quantity, they do all these things.